during the break, our co-host, Shanice had to leave. We we're going to miss her. Yes, because she's the feisty but one. But she spoke her mind. Yes, she right, did. ABC and Disney, I hope you heard that. <laughs> but anyway, we're here to talk about the articles, right? Yeah, so. well, you know, I just want to say that the Globe did cover the protest that we had um, where uh, soap fans from all over came and protested the... Um, against ABC when they were soliciting uh, advertisers for their network. So I, I want to thank the Globe for, um, for covering the protests that, that uh, let's talk about soaps also covered. Mm -hmm. So I want to say, and it's, a, it's an article here, and at the bottom there's a picture of the um, protesters at the protest. So I want to uh, thank the Globe for, for doing that. Thank you. But we all, yes, Globe, thank you for being there for soap fans. Yeah, yeah we had such a good time there. Yes. You, sang, you sang the anthem. It was so much fun. We met so many great uh, we uh, other soap, soap in fans the in the rain. Yes. We were across the street. I Opal, oh, all my children. Yeah, that was so nice. Wow. I love you, Opal. <laughs> <laughs> and I, in other words, they covered it, and they, it, it, our, our voices were heard. That we will not go away. And That's great, great. Look, if you want your soaps to come back, you have to let ABC Disney know that you're not going away. Send them a bar of soap, like our <laughs> our previous guests yeah, talked about. A box of soap. Send them a box of soap. <laughs> <laughs> Has some very, two uh, two other good articles that oh, we yes, got from yes. um, journalists off of the internet. So yes, we got one here called Soap Fight Three. Can you hear us now? Can you hear us now? ABC Disney. Yeah, by Paula Kate Prince Musgro from Nashville TV Examiner and subscribe. It has been about a month since Disney top film executive Rich Ross resigned in the week of the big budget flop of John Carter. All okay. right, look, see what's happening? And let me go right here, down here, some. it says, primetime shows have also lost millions of soap viewers, whom before ABC Disney canceled the two soaps, regularly watched the ABC primetime lineup as well. Sad, bad move, it's crazy. And for nearly 50 years, people have sat down and tuned in to watch their soap operas day after day, providing and that's prescribed daytime dramas on ABC daytime have always been and with the recent review of the General Hospital continues to be traumatized, successfully story, success story. Right. Yeah. So um, that's what we're talking about here. Now, uh, I also want to want to say that uh, we had as a guest on Let's Talk About Soaps, mm -hmm. the uh, author of uh, the book, American Business and Daytime Drama, Donald G. Boudreaux, who wrote a book that documents what has happened mm -hmm. t since last year, uh, t uh, 2011, where ABC made the decision to uh, drop the two soaps, One Life to Live and mm -hmm. All My Children. and. Uh, that is something that uh, any soap fan you want, want to check it out. It's called American Business and Daytime Dramas, and it is available on. Uh, it's an ebook on Smashwords, mm -hmm. so and it's free for the entire month of July. July so yeah. check it out. Very important book for anyone who is invested in bringing uh, the soaps back mm -hmm. to ABC. Yeah, yeah. Go check that out. Yes, and then there is another article, and it's called, and it's written by Linda McLeod, and it's called The Choose Ratings Are Affecting the View and the Soapers Are Rejoicing. And this article uh, sort of uh, validates the, uh, the soap operas fans efforts to uh, bring ABC to attention that th that we want our soaps back. Yes. So it goes, and again, this is written by Linda McLeod, and it says, Soapers kept tell saying that ABC would feel their wrath. It may have felt slow in coming, especially as they had to say goodbye to their beloved Erica Kane and their many friends of Landview. However, that wrath has seen evidence of being real. First, everyone saw the decline in ABC's primetime ratings. Shows that 
was de that were destined to become hits by the critics and the reviewers are now long gone. Then the daytime talk shows that tried to take the place of One Life to Live was officially canceled by ABC. Yes, wow. the revolution will soon be off the airwaves. Then some of the biggest pilots were turned down by ABC, including Devious Maids, which is now being considered by Lifetime Network. This, will pr this probably had nothing to do with Susan Lucci or producer Mark Cherry. ABC may have been afraid that they wouldn't get enough people to watch the show. Well, anyway, the article goes on to talk about how it compares the Chew's ratings uh, when, when the Chew was on compared to All My Children. Mm -hmm. And the, uh, the author of this article, Linda McLeod, uh, said that last year uh, All My Children had 2.4 million viewers and the Chew at the same time had 2.1 eight million viewers and Tessa McKenzie the producer of this show wants to also point out that that did not include the amount of viewership for uh, the DVR people mm -hmm. who DVR their uh, soaps and soap watched, or watched it on soap net mm -hmm. you know so and, and she says it's probably 25% also uh, DVR'd or watched it online or watched it on SoapNet. Right. So those, the number is actually higher for, for all yeah. my children. So even that number, even though all my children beat the chew at 2.4 million viewers, the number of viewers is actually higher than that. Mm -hmm. So what's, what's that telling ABC and Disney? That there are a lot of soap fans out there. That they made me. a bad business choice. But they're, they're not listening. Why are they not listening? I don't they, be, they better listen. They should listen. <laughs> I, because I don't think the soap, soap fans are not going away. Nope. I mean, we, they, they may be a, a, a loosely um, affiliated, but there are many uh, fan pages, soap fan pages, that are dedicated to bringing back the soaps. And you know, okay, so bring them back the way we know uh, we we knew them all these years on television. But there's so many other different avenues also. So you can have them on te have them on television the way we know them and learn to love them, but also have them where you, they can go on the internet. Now, Alora, I'm aware that. ABC Disney spent like $60 million on this new reality show called The Glass wow. House, which is similar to Big Brother. Um, and they're being sued by CBS because it's too, so similar to it. Well, so I they're spending, they're too, spending yeah. a lot of money on reality shows. and they, all, But yet they can't keep the soaps on. They can't keep the soaps on. And also there's this one called Do You Want to Be a Millionaire? So they have this millionaire going around. Check this out. Going around and uh, and supposedly nobody knows that he's going to do this and is following her. And he gives some uh, a, whoever he decides to give $5,000. Now, wow. $5,000. Now, if you're a millionaire, aren't you supposed to be giving away some of your millions? millions. It doesn't make <laughs> sense. So you're going to give somebody $5,000. Wow. I mean, it, it, it's money that you didn't have. It's found money. But if he's really going to be million. generous, don't you think he should be giving away some of his million? million? Yeah. $5,000. Come, Come on. So we so ABC Disney trades off all my children, one life to live for shows like The Glass House and... The millionaire five thousand dollar giveaway. <laughs> <laughs> How ridiculous! Right? It is ridiculous. Come on, talk talk about the shows, uh, the soaps. Tell me one of the storylines right. that, that, that made money could have been that, to the soap. Yes. Wow. Yes. Poor, so poor. okay, tell me your soap that you're watching right now. G give me an example of a storyline so that ABC <laughs> and Disney that are hearing this. This is what we want: a storyline going on right now. Well, That's want, good juicy. General Hospital, of course, what's going on now? But what they got going, they bring a lot of cast from One Life to Live. Okay. I mean, it's nice to still see them, but we want them to have their own soap. All right. So what's the juicy storyline? 
Let's well, compare it so that they, they know that reality shows can't match what's going on now. Yeah, no, nah, they can't match up all this killing and shooting a general hospital. Yeah, nah. so what's going on? I'm Please, um, we got right now um, the crazy lady. She used to play on, um, what, what's up with that? The, um, I think One Life to Live. Okay. Now she's like holding, it was Luke Spencer, you know. There's a lot of stuff going on with Luke and her, and it's like... Crazy. We like drama. We like a lot of drama. <laughs> so that's all we want. This drama. It ain't too much. And good story. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't too much. Good writing. Money you got to put behind that. It's a lot of drama. To keep us on the edge. What's going to happen next? You know, we like stuff like that. The reality shows, nah. And if you're going to give away some money, give away some real money. Like you said, a couple of million. <laughs> yeah, at come least on. a million, right? Come on. Come on. They could come better than that. But soap fans are not happy right now. We're no. not happy. No, no, no. We love General Hospital, but we want One Life to Live and All My Children Back. We miss them. So we're going to get it back to them. We're, okay. back. we're not giving up. Yeah. So, t Tessa, and I hear, I heard that with the $60 million that ABC Disney put into the, the Glass, Glass House, House, that the first night it was a flop. All that wow. money. That could have gone. I wonder how many episodes of All My Children that could have been. <laughs> You know, that's a good question. I need somebody who knows the numbers right, to of television to figure it out. Like, come on. You, take something that you know is going to, to work. make you some money. Yes. Come on. Yes. Poor, poor. You know what? I'm not a big fan of these weight loss shows. <laughs> not at all. Not at all. Because that's for anyone... For me, it's for personal. myself, it's personal. It's something that I've always struggled with. And it's what I... What I'm passionate about when it comes to how how does uh, someone get fat? Mm -hmm. Because we have an obesity epidemic mm -hmm. in uh, this country, and in fact, the world. And these biggest loser shows are just are telling obese people, overweight people, uh, fat people that the way that they're going to become thin or lean is that they have to do all this exercise. They have to do it. Basically, they're really hurt. In my opinion, they're really hurting the uh, contestants. Mm -hmm. And that is not the way to go. But see, that's another episode. Show. That's another show. <laughs> but they, you know, the, uh, Tessa McKenzie, the producer of the show, was saying how one of the uh, contestants. contestants in the ABC Disney show, which is a, similar the to show. the big, Biggest Loser, it became suicidal. Wow. So they gained the weight back. Yeah, because they gained the weight back. We need people who are experts in how fat is accumulated in the body. Like everybody's too. different, though. They can yeah, tell somebody different. how to lose weight. It's like no, we need experts on yes. fat accumulation. Yeah. Hear me, fat accumulation. We need uh, <laughs> experts. We don't need Dr. Oz or any of those folks that uh, that are going to tell you to do this, do that, do exercise. We need experts on fat accumulation. <laughs> but still, that's another show. That's another <laughs> show. We t okay. <laughs> She's taking this to heart. Yeah, right? taking it to heart. Okay. okay. But yeah. keep our soaps alive. That's all we want. Soaps alive. Yeah. Come on. Yes. We're not going to let them die. No. Bring them back. No. Yeah. You get your money back. Yeah. Back. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Now, opening night, the glass house, Big bam. Shot. Opening night, Dallas. Number one. Number one. What does that what does mean? What People does that mean? People still you? watch soaps. Yes. That's what it tells 20 me. 20 years ago, Dallas was on. And, it's, and they brought it back. And they and brought it back. Number Come, one. Number one. So ABC, on. Disney, you feeling me? <laughs> Don't you want Bring the same back. success as TNT? Come on. <laughs> they brought Dallas back and they're... Their ratings are through the roof. All right. Come on. Bring them back. You get your money back. <laughs> well, again, huh? Sleep on it, okay? <laughs> again, soap fans, until we meet again, let's talk about soaps. That's right. Bye bye. Bye. Talk about it. Zorn
the break, our co-host Shanice had to leave. We we're gonna miss her. Yes, because she's the feisty but one. But she spoke her mind. Yes, she All right, did. ABC at Disney. I hope you heard that. <laughs> but anyway, we're here to talk about the articles, right? Yeah. So. Well, you know, I just want to say that the Globe did cover the protest that we had, um, where uh, soap fans from all over came and protested the. Um, against ABC when they were soliciting uh, advertisers for their network. So I, I want to thank the Globe for, um, for covering the protests that, that Let's Talk About Soaps also covered. Mm -hmm. So I want to say, and it's, a, it's an article here and at the bottom. Yes. We were across the street from I met Opal with oh, all my children. Yeah, that was so nice. Wow. I love you, Opal. <laughs> <laughs> and I, in other words, they covered it and they, it, uh, our voices were heard that we will not go away and That's great, great. look if you want your soaps to come back you have to let ABC Disney know that you're not going away send them a bar of soap like our <laughs> our previous guests yeah, talked about a box of soap. Said, send them a box of soap <laughs> <laughs> has some very, two, uh, two other good articles that oh, we yeah, got from yeah. um, journalists off of the internet so yes, we got one here called soap fight three can you hear us now can you hear us now, ABC Disney? Adam, there's a picture of the um, protesters at the protest. So I want to uh, thank the Globe for, for doing that. Thank you. But we all, me. yes, Globe, thank you for being there for soap fans. Yeah, yeah we had such a good time there. Yes. You, sang, you sang the anthem. It was so much fun. We met so many great uh, we uh, other soap, soap in fans the rain. in the rain. Yes. 